Can't make head nor tail of the payroll. They all get paid, eventually. It's chaos. Not surprising. You know, hope his dad's had working in here. Glover, Tina Dingle. Yes, but you've been in charge for months. I'm not a clerk. You're probably not interested, but I've sorted out those troublemakers at the Holiday Village. Oh, you've not made things worse, have you? You do the pay packets and I'll deal with the difficult managerial decisions. OK. Why don't you get Steve to write the little names on the pay packets? He's a whiz with other people's money. That's me. What did you think? Well, I haven't looked at them in depth yet, but... Yes, but you must have formed some opinion. Yeah, I've got a few ideas about putting home farm on a more secure footing. If you'll excuse me, I'll give the business to these course a mess. Oh, Chris, before you go, any chance of looking at the company business plan? I find it quite incredible that the only business plan we have is two years out of date. Dad and I never needed jargon-filled dossiers. I never noticed you jumping up and down at board meetings demanding a plan. No, you're quite happy to draw your dividends and slip away. But I don't think we need to be too negative. If we take decisive action now, we'll secure future dividends. Are you sure it's not too late? Will you stop being so blasted disapproving? Did I gloat when you bumped off Kim's horse? How dare you? Look, these are my tentative proposals. And if we reject them? Tate Holdings will go under. Well, first we start settling with the revenue. If they know they're going to get paid, they'll back off. That way we'll also save interest as well. Second, we downsize, cut back on every area that isn't showing a return. Well, aren't we in danger of throwing away our assets? Time is of the essence. Besides, I'll make sure you get a good price from anything you do decide to sell off. It's in my interest too. Oh, yes. The little matter of your commission. So it's not a hopeless situation? No, of course not. Well, that's a relief. Right. I promised I'd go and visit Dad. Need some hope on the horizon. Could you provide more detailed proposals? Sure. See you later. Of course, the first thing you could offload is a livery company. Meaning? I take it Zoe doesn't know you did a secret deal with Kim. It's got nothing to do with her. True, in one sense. I just thought it might be helpful for you not to have to pay the interest on... What was it you paid, Kim? A third of a million? You really are a twister, aren't you? <sighs> Anyone would think I was trying to blackmail you. Well, aren't you? Threatening to blow it to Zoe and my father. I'm offering to find you a buyer. Really? Paying twice what you paid. I got it cheap because she wanted cash, or so she said. Nearly 100% profit margin isn't to be sneezed at. Minus your cat. Only trying to help. Now look, pal, you've had my wife. How do I know you're not taking me? Just trust me. <laughs> 